Yeah, I guess the damn thing's working. Hey, Tubi people, how will Mad Mud Duck back at ya? Still early Monday morning. It's still snowing like all hell up here for some reason. Wind is blowing about 15 miles an hour out of the north one minute, then out of the south the next minute. I'm watching my windsock, and I'm watching the trees because they're top-heavy. And they're used to a southerly wind. They're not used to getting hit from wind out of the north. And it's the winds out of the north and the winds out of the east that do me the most damage up here, so I'm keeping an eye on them. The two dead ones that really scare the fuck out of me are even rocking back and forth, and they're usually sitting still. And that dead one up over that way. Where that fucker at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just sitting still. It ain't doing much. Yeah, I do worry about the dead trees when the wind's blowing out of the north. I got those two I worry about when it's coming out of the east. Because it was a tree that got hit by an east. <laughs> Microburst of a 77 mile an hour wind. It took it out. That was in it. Got out. Finally got out of the fucking camper after having it hit. Jump, you know, hearing that crack, grabbing the dog, jumping for the floor, ripping open all my fucking stooch, sutures from the colon operation. Landed on the floor about the time the tree hit the front part we were sleeping in. Everything out of the cupboards, oatmeal, coffee, flour. Fucking pancake mix, cans of food all come down, dishes all come rattling down out of the cupboards. Couldn't find my fucking flashlight. It was all I could do to get my hand stuck in under my pillow that I, my head had just been on to get my glasses out. On and it come down over the door so I couldn't get the door open so I had to go out through the window on the door which is only about ye big by ye big got out got the door open got the dog out stood got out went under the goddamn tree Realized that my white cavalier had uh, taken a hit the camper had taken a hit I'm standing up by the front of the Sentra Big damn branch about, oh, 30 foot long comes flying down at me, and I dodge that fucker. And I looked at where that tree used to be right next to my camper, and it was, ah, you missed. And trees, winds from the east, and, well, shit, I come home. Um, what was that, March, uh, 2014? It was 15, one of the two. And I had that tree that was down across the Black Cavalier, took that out across the back of the center, and the very tip, it took out my awning, and the very tippy top of it was up against my fucking front door. So, yeah, winds out of the east bother me. Winds out of the north bother me. Because I got that dead tree up there I got to do something about. Yeah, I might have to finally drop that son of a bitch that direction. It just, I... Worry about some of these dead trees cutting them down. Because they're dead for a reason. And it's turning out that they're fucking rotten in the middle. Something's gotten in and fucking devoured the middles of them. And just the outsides of them are still alive. And I don't know how many more of them fuckers I got up here. You have that skinny fucker over there, but... Wind from the north bothers me with that. 
went from these till just take out the motor home and everything in it. Yeah, it ain't too bad. But it's pretty out. And that's what I look for in a goddamn winter situation is if it's pretty out. It's quiet. There's hardly any fucking traffic out. I can't. I'm looking down at the highway and I'm not seeing vehicles going by for the last five minutes. I'm hoping this shit will burn up, melt off before I have to head for Tacoma tomorrow morning. Because baby's tires aren't as good as they should be. Hell, last winter they weren't as good as they should be. You have to make an investment in some rear skins on this bitch. But yeah, damn it, it's harder than hell to find 16 fives anymore. But I will own the last surviving 16 five on the fucking planet. It's bad enough I might have to put the old wagon wheels back on it with the old Les Schwab tires and them fuckers were new in 92. They got a few stress cracks on the sides. That's why I pulled them off and put uh, uh, TAs on the back of it. 35, 12, 50, 16, 5. Or 35, 12, point 50, 16, 5. I gotta keep all my decimal points in there. That means the tire's goddamn three foot tall. And over a foot wide. Over a foot man, there's yeah, forget it. I'm gonna have a bad tasteless joke in there. Alright, so the Snow is falling my direction, and I am facing east. The trees are rocking north and south. I swear I'm in a vortex up here. But since it's turned daylight, it's got kind of pretty out. And we'll go like this. Boat looks good. That's the best the boat's looked in a while. The trees are all prettied up real nice. Yeah, let's see. Got a... uh, ignition. Let's go like that. And it's all pretty. You see the direction the snow is going now? The snow is coming out of the south. Don't see any traffic down on the highway at all. It's all nice and pretty looking down through there. Trees are all covered up through there. Wind socks struggling. I think it's froze to the goddamn fucking pole it's on. Okay, now the snow is coming out of the north. Now back, it's coming out of the east. Now go the trees rocking again. Now the snow is swirling around it. Don't know which direction it's coming from. Like I said, I'm in a vortex up here. Thing I check on the weather says the wind's coming out of the north. Okay, now it's 
out of the southwest. Like I said, I'm in a vortex up here. I don't know which direction it's coming from. But it's nice and pretty to watch and Starting to cover the ground pretty good. My tracks from last time I was out of the truck and up into the trailer was... Trying to get back up over there. That last trip, right after daylight, when I threw some bird feed out for these annoying little birds all over the place. They haven't figured out they got a full bird. Damn, I won't do that. They haven't figured out I filled the bird feeder yet. You're getting difficult. Stop that. So, it's a nice snowy morning. Our first big snow this side of the mountains. I don't know what the groundhog seen on the second, but uh, like I said about that, it doesn't matter what the groundhog sees, his shadow or not, we're having six more weeks of winter. I think I'm going to have to turn this some bitch off. It seems to be uh, having technical difficulties beyond my control. And uh, my thing about whatever the groundhog said or not, we're having six more weeks of winter. Yeah, I was right. I mean, it's kind of hard not to deny that I was right. It's definitely winter in western Washington. The good old Pacific North wet. And this is good. We need the snow. Hope it's snowing like a motherfucker up in the mountains. Because the pinks are running this year and I want water in my fucking river. I don't want to have any damn fishing restrictions because of water or any dumbass shit like that. I want water in my fucking river. If the pinks are running this year, I want water in the river because I need to have water in the river to be catching pinks. I'm going to teach the nephew how to salmon fish. He's only done trout fishing. And like I explained to him yesterday when he was up here, the 69 Dart, Chrysler Dart, that's motor only. Ain't no fucking place for her locks. The old 17 foot uh, Sea Breeze or whatever the fuck it is, that's motor only. No place to roll that son of a bitch. We do take along an emergency paddle just in case, but. Uh, that some bitch don't roll. Now the eight foot Livingston, that some bitch is set up to roll. That's the one we're taking fishing. He goes, well, isn't that a little small for two people? And I said, well, you know, back in the day, I used to throw the fucking battery in it, the outboard motor, the electric motor, the small ice chest, the two gallon coffee pot, the boom box, an old cassette one, uh, the fucking uh, two big tackle boxes, about four poles and two people, and a set of oars, and the fucker, and we used to go out and catch fish all day long, so that nah, ain't too small if you keep it slow and 
The guy that you're fishing with doesn't want to dance in the fucking bow of the boat every time he hooks on to one, you know? Motherfucker, I don't swim too good, and like hell if I want to lose my fucking leather jacket by going in the water. Yeah, it do be fucking windy out still. Snow is coming from the uh, straight down now. Trees are rocking back and forth from uh, south to north, so they're catching the wind from the north, but right here it's, oh, now it's coming down from the north. Ooh, windy, windy. Windy, windy. I don't know if you can hear that, but shit's breaking off like crazy. things were snapping. Didn't see nothing go down, didn't hear nothing go down, but I heard a lot of snapping. Might end up getting the hell out of here. Ain't sure yet. If there ain't no traffic on the roads, that means they ain't cleared. The snow was blown off them trees, so. That's the part about the snowstorms I hate is when the wind starts blowing and blowing the snow off the trees. Well, the wind sock says it's coming from. There it goes again. This storm's only supposed to last about another hour. Sure is bright in the cab of the truck today. I don't have to use no internal lighting. And some mornings, this time of the morning, you couldn't see a damn thing. <laughs> 